Mommy 101 here. This is the very first video that marks the official launch of our baby wearing review section over on the blog to mommy101.com. There you can find more details about wraps and carriers as well as reviews. Today I'm real quick going to talk about the Twin Guru Twin Baby Carrier. Uh, I'm going to have another video where I actually put the girls on but I just want to touch on a few things with this carrier because I've been getting a few questions since we got this in. This came from Stuff for Multiples as a pay it forward gift. So it will be leaving Atlanta at the end of this month in February. If you're interested, there will be applications available soon on our Facebook page uh, because we'll be sending this around the country to share with other moms. So real quick, I uh, want to show you how it works. You have two pieces here. You have the backpack and you have the front panel. You cannot individually wear two different babies, but you can only wear one baby. You're not committed to tandem, so you can front carry you can back carry or you can tandem carry. Um, I'm just going to put this on in no way, shape, or form the way you would with the baby, but I just kind of want to show you the way that the carrier works. Um, with the waist, I have a picture right after I get done yapping about how wide it goes. You, I'm taking the backpack and I'm putting the front panel in. There, this is the best way, the general recommended way. If you have some different circumstances, there are options that I'll show you. But I'm just clipping this in. When you clip it, make sure it's dark, but the elastic goes over the buckle on both sides. You can see that this is as tight as this carrier goes, and I still it's still moving a little bit. So I'm going to show you how with a smaller frame you can work that out. And then as I'm going, since it's pulled all the way tight, um, you know, sometimes I have the days where I can fit this and it's perfect. And then there's an elastic part, and you just put this around here so that while I'm tandem wearing, I don't have straps hanging out everywhere. And then you can see that the waistband is nice and wide. It's padded, so we went for over three and a half mile walk. It took us about two hours. And this was super comfortable. Um, I like that it's nice and wide. I don't like soft structure carriers because usually they dig in and make the tongue skin really show. The other thing I like about this with the tandem when we went for the walk was that it reminds me of the Maytai because it has the side strap right here. So if I have a really small baby or if my baby's super wiggly, it's hard to tell, but it has the side strap so I don't have to worry about her coming out of the side. I can adjust it to hold her in securely there. If you are like me and it's a little loose, what you have the option to do is you can Take this, and this is actually the way I wore it on that walk, and it was super comfortable. Um, I enjoyed that walk because for the first time in over a year, I was able to bring water with me. We have water bottle holders. Well, actually, they're um, designed for baby bottles because they are insulated, but if you take those really small water bottles that you get at the grocery store, um, they I was able to take two backups. So I'm just taking this, and I'm strapping them individually. Also, if you have, if you're wearing siblings instead of twins, because sometimes you have siblings close in age, the carrier limit is um, 35 pounds per side. Okay, so I just had to tighten a little bit. So now you can see, it's not quite all the way tight, I can't reach it. <laughs> there we go. And then just clip it up real quick so my straps don't slide. Um, when you're back carrying, make sure that your baby can sit unassisted. If they cannot, you risk the... Uh, run the risk of them slumping their necks because they may not have full control of that airway. And then also, any soft, any soft structure carrier does not offer the same support and the appropriate support that babies need um, when their spines are not fully developed. A wool gun wrap and a maid's high provide that on the back, but not a soft structure carrier. So definitely wait till they can sit unassisted. So now you can see here, I'm independent. So if I have a smaller baby who needs to be close enough to kiss, I can move them up. If I have a small baby that needs to be higher up in the back, I can push this up to where I need it. You have the flexibility to do what you need there. And again, that waistband covers you up so you don't have to worry about, well, not only do I have two babies on me, but I have a thin waistband that's doing some poking. 
Um, ToonMommy101.com will have more information. The review will be up shortly. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Can you guys say bye-bye? Say bye. They're looking right past you at the menu on the TV. See you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.